You're watching Arkansas Style on KARK. Welcome back to Arkansas Style. The drug Ozempic and others similar to it continue to make headlines in all the right ways. The decrease in type 2 diabetes as well as weight loss benefits were life-changing news for so many, and now it seems that it might even help patients suffering from Parkinson's disease. Here to help us better understand what's happening with this miracle drug is Dr. Jean Wei. Dr. Wei, what's new? New York. <laughs> She got Sorry us. about that. <laughs> All right. Well, in New York and yes. other places, they yes. seem to be having this drug, uh, yes. Ozempic, that is just continuing to become like a miracle. Yes. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you so much. I'm delighted to be here. I'm honored uh, to be able to get a chance to talk about this. This is actually a very, very important topic. Um, so. If you didn't think about it before, you might not think that there's very much in common between Parkinson's disease and diabetes, which is you know what Ozempic initially was made to treat. But it turns out they do share a number of factors, okay? So Parkinson's disease and diabetes, they both have insulin resistance. We didn't know that, right, until we looked at it. They also share increased inflammation and oxidative stress, both of them, okay? They also share alpha-synuclein pathology. Now, alpha-synuclein used to be thought it was only in Parkinson's disease in the brain, because, you know, everybody, that was what we all understood it to be. It turned out now that alpha-synuclein also, it's made in the gut, and it's deposited elsewhere in your GI system, in particular in your pancreas. And that's the reason why patients with Parkinson's disease and patients with diabetes both have alpha synuclein in their pancreatic beta cells. That makes them insulin resistant. Okay, what else? Well, they also share some common genetic risk factors both Parkinson's and diabetes. See, we didn't know that either. What else? Okay, they both have autonomic dysfunction. You know, your autonomic system is the system that helps you to keep breathing and you don't have to think about it. It uh, helps you to regulate your blood pressure. Like when you get up from a laying down or sitting position, your blood pressure comes up so you can keep the blood flowing to your brain. They keep your heart rate regular, all of those things. They share impaired autonomic function, both Parkinson's and diabetes, okay? Yes, and um, because of all these things, they actually have many, many things in common. So when you realize that, then you think, oh, well, so what else? Okay. They also share mitochondrial dysfunction. Now, you remember mitochondria are the little teeny weeny, what they call powerhouses within each cell that make all your energy molecules. They are the source of your energy. They make ATP. That's your mitochondria. They both share mitochondrial dysfunction. So when you hear all of that, then you realize, oh, well, if it's good for diabetes, it's going to be good for Parkinson's. And sure enough, a paper just came out this week about the fact that in Paris, they studied patients who uh, had Parkinson's diagnosed within the past three years. They put them on this diabetic medicine, the Lexi, um how can I say this? Anyway, it's one of the um, versions of Ozempic, and they put, it, uh, they put this drug in Half of the patients got it, half of the patients didn't. Every day they had a subcutaneous injection of the drug and the patients who got the drug 12 months later did not have any deterioration in their motor function or tremors or speed of ambulation, nothing. They stayed just the way they were 12 months earlier. But the other group, who didn't get this medication showed a significant decline 
in tremors, in their rate of ambulation, the shuffle, um, and in their whole manifestation of Parkinson's disease. So it's pretty incredible. I, I mean, you just blew my mind, really and truly, in all the great ways. Uh, here's my confusion, is that I thought Ozempic treated like a blood sugar situation and Parkinson's disease was a brain problem. Right, and that's what we all used to think. It turns out huh. Parkinson's is a, a total body system impairment and the fact that the alpha-synuclein we used to think was in, made in the brain, but it's also made in the gut, and it's in your whole system. It's in your pancreas. So patients with Parkinson's disease have glucose metabolic derangement. They're insulin resistant, just like diabetes. Wow. So we didn't know any of this, but now we do because the diabetic drug is neuroprotective. Hmm. Uh, so beautiful. That. It's good news from the doctor for sure. Yes. Um, that's it's so uplifting and inspiring. And I know yes. so many people at home, you know, it just gives you hope. Um, thank you, Dr. Way. It was very, thank very you. interesting conversation. Thank you I enjoyed so it. so much. Loved your joke too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Way will be back next week to answer more of our medical questions and concerns. But if you or our viewers have something you'd like addressed, don't hesitate to reach out and send us a message on social media at AR Style Show. We'd love to get you the answers you seek. Now stick around, we'll be right back after this with all the details on RVAC's Head Start program, which is leading the way in early childhood education care. Stick around, you're watching Arkansas Style. <laughs>